Hey guys, welcome back. Today we've got a very interesting whiskey, uh, and I say that uh, because it's maybe not exactly a single malt, it's, a, it's something new, it's a bit of an innovation. Straight out of Adelaide, where we'd probably expect from the Barossa Valley to have some superb wines, uh, South Australia is producing an amazing uh, whiskey, the Adelaide Hills Distillery, 78 degrees Australian whiskey. Now you'll notice this is spelt with a E, um, playing homage more to the American style, and it's not necessarily a single malt. This would be classified as a single grain. Now if we have a look at what a single malt means, it means a single malt from a single distillery. Now this is actually a combination of, of six different types of malts which falls into the category, if it were to enter a whiskey competition so to speak, of a single grain. This one is made of Biscuit, supernova, red back, toffee, crystal, and chocolate. And those are different um, uh, styles, essentially, or different grains of the single malt uh, category, or the malt category, I should say. Um, now, out of um, South Australia, this is using their traditional red wines. Um, so these are both uh, American and European oak. Uh, red wine casks hand selected uh, from the guys at uh, 78 uh, from um, Adelaide Hill 78 degrees whiskey. Um, let's give it a taste. I'm really excited about this. I actually have this one on my kind of permanent rotation at home. Um, this is one of the more interesting flavor profiles that I've come across uh, recently and I, I'm really enjoying it. Probably pour more than I usually do on these tastings, but let's go for it. So immediately I'm getting super kind of biscuity, malty notes and, and kind of that, that warmth of that bread flavor profile. Getting a bit of uh, chocolate malt there as well. And something a little bit citrusy like um, fresh grapes. So it's got that sweet element. It's got maybe a little bit of caramel coming through and that chocolatey, biscuity, malty note. Um, as you can see from the color profile here, that is primarily coming from their red wine barrels. Oh, it's just a really delicious flavor on the nose. Like I'm really enjoying that right now. This is one of these whiskeys, probably don't even need to drink. You can just smell it. If I had a perfume, this would be the one I'd use. All right, getting down to business. On the taste, that's the important stuff. It's really soft, it's subtle. It's got kind of fresh apples to it. A little bit of wine tannins coming through. Um, a bit of cinnamon as well. It's kind of that oakiness and that woody profile from the malt characteristic. Now the finish is a little bit more peppery. You've got that red wine kind of tannins developing into a, a peppery flavor note. Um, but there's still that kind of nice sweetness, more of a, a grapefruit kind of flavor profile on the end. I wouldn't say it's the longest finish. I'd say it's kind of short to medium, but it does have a lot of flavor in that finish itself. It hasn't gone just for, um, I guess, hitting a category, um, and it hasn't gone for hitting a age profile, um, or even a type of cask. It's kind of focused on the combination of these different malts that adds a lot of complexity to the flavor profile, and then hand selecting those casks that are gonna match that flavor profile really, really well. So I'm really impressed what they're doing. I'm really excited what the future has to hold for Adelaide Hills Distillery. And I'm sure they'll come up with more exciting and different whiskies in the future. But this is definitely sitting on my shelf. This is definitely something I'm gonna be drinking every night of the week, sharing with friends, enjoying in summer, in winter. This is an everyday drink for me, and I hope it will be for you. Cheers.